Hi, in this video we're going to try to find the limit. So we have the limit as x approaches infinity of x times the sine of 1 over x. So what I'm thinking about doing in this problem, and I haven't done this yet, is basically do the following. So this is the limit as x approaches infinity. And then I'm going to write it like this, sine of 1 over x over 1 over x. I'm going to write it like that. And this reminds me of a very familiar limit. Uh, it reminds me of this limit here if you have the limit as t approaches 0 of sine t over t. This is equal to 1. This is one of those really important limits that you typically learn in a Calculus 1 course. So the reason that this reminds me of this is because as x approaches infinity, 1 over x approaches 0. So we can make a substitution. We can let t equal 1 over x, then as x approaches infinity, we have that t, which is 1 over x, approaches 0. Okay, So we can make a substitution now in this limit. We can replace x with x approaching infinity with t approaching 0, and then we can replace each of these 1 over x's with t. So this is actually equal to this, and this is equal to 1, and that completes the solution. <laughs> so that's it. The answer is 1, because basically if you make the substitution in the limit, if you let t be equal to 1 over x, then as x approaches infinity, this approaches 0. So basically this limit can be replaced with this one, and then you get 1. Um, there's other ways to do it. Let me show you another way. Now this, this solution requires um, that you know some stuff. Basically this is 0 over 0. So you can use something called L'Hopital's rule. Okay, L'Hopital's rule. It says that whenever you have 0 over 0, you can just take the derivative. So let's do that. So if you do that here, um, you take the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom. So the derivative of the sine is cosine, but there's an inside function here. So it'll be cosine of 1 over x times, and then the derivative of the inside function. The inside function is 1 over x, and its derivative is negative 1 over x squared. And here on the bottom, the derivative is negative 1 over x squared. The derivative of 1 over x is something you end up memorizing. If you want to work it out, you can go to the side and realize it's really 1 over x to the 1. Then you can bring this upstairs and write it like this. And then when you take the derivative, you simply apply the power rule. So you bring down the negative 1, and you subtract 1 from the exponent. And so you get negative 1 over x squared like that. So, boom! This is the limit as x approaches infinity of the cosine of 1 over x. And now it's a little more clear. As x approaches infinity, 1 over x approaches 0. So this is the cosine of 0, which is also equal to 1. So Different ways of doing it. Um, so you have two solutions now uh, for the same problem. The limit as x approaches infinity of x times um, the sine of 1 over x. Yeah, kind of a, an interesting problem. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.